In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the difference between the apply and apply async functions available in AngularJS. Now, to make use of Angular, you'll have to include it in your web page. I've included it here um, from a major CDN, but you can also download it to your own local web application and reference it from there. Now, down here in our Angular application, you're going to see where I have a button. And you'll be noticing that I'm not using ng-click. I'm actually using the built-in on-click handler. Uh, that comes just as a part of HTML5 with this, just a standard web page. And what this is going to do, this is actually going to fire off a, uh, a function called click me, which is defined in the global scope, but it's not defined directly within Angular. Let's take a look and see what I mean. If we scroll down here, we're going to see that we have window.clickme defined here, but but it's not actually going to run as part of Angular. The only reason I'm defining it here is so that I can reference the scope object via closure within the function. But when this function actually executes, it will be executing outside the bounds of Angular. Okay, so let's take a look here at what we're actually doing in this function. We're registering a watch. Now the reason we're going to register the watch is just as a way of knowing that the digest loop process is actually running. And then down here, you're going to see where we have three calls to apply. And each one of them says running apply, running apply, and running apply. Now, what's going to happen is this. When this code executes, within this particular JavaScript task on, the, on JavaScript's event loop, we're basically going to run the apply loop three times. This is why we're actually running this outside the bounds of Angular. If we had set this up with ng-click, then we would have gotten an error when we called the, the apply function within the uh, click me event handler. So we're going to call apply three times, which is really going to trigger ultimately the digest loop to run three times every time we click the button. Let's take a look. Reload our page, click me. So take a look here. Once we get past the initial page load, we have our running apply, the digest loop is running running apply, running apply, and we can see we have our digest loop running after each time we call running apply. Now, what if we don't want to actually execute the digest loop each time we pass a function to apply? What if instead we actually want to be able to pass multiple things to apply, and then in, at some point in the future, in the next JavaScript task on the event loop, we then want to have the actual apply process execute, which ultimately runs the digest loop. The way we can do that is use the apply async method. So we'll just come in here and we'll copy and paste that in there. And now we'll actually see what happens when we call, when we actually run this code, and we'll see when this running apply actually happens. So now jumping back over here to the web browser, we're going to reload our page. We're going to click on click me. Now notice what happened. All three running applies ran at the same time and then the digest loop executed. So instead of executing the digest loop three different times, we were actually able to pass in the same functionality but then have all of it execute together followed by a single digest loop. So the purpose of the apply function is to take some type of expression or function, execute it, and then update the, the view and model bindings. However, if we have multiple functions we want to execute first before we then do the, the entire model and model view binding process with the watches and through the digest loop, then we can use apply async to run multiple operations, and then finally it will run the digest loop process, run all the watches. This would be significantly more efficient than doing actually three separate apply operations.